Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video what I want to do is I want to start talking to you about something called modules. So eventually whenever you write an actual piece of software, an actual web app, it's going to be pretty long, either hundreds of lines of code or maybe even thousands of lines of code. So obviously as you guys can probably already figure out, if you just started typing all that code and all of it was in the same file, then first of all, this file is going to get really cluttered really messy, really difficult to work with. So what we can do instead is we can actually take that code and break it up into different files. Now in Node.js these different files are called modules and it's not just having a bunch of code and randomly taking a chunk of it and sticking it in another file. What you do whenever you make different modules is you group similar code together. So say that you're making a web app and uh, I don't know like maybe it was a website and you had a section where a user could look at music and another one for movies and another one for TV shows well you would want to take all the movie related code and break it up into its own file so that way everything isn't jumbled all together so let's actually go ahead and make a quick example so as you guys can probably already expect whatever file app.js is in right click the directory and hit new JavaScript file. And you can name it anything you want. I'm going to name mine movies.js. So again, this movies.js file would be a separate module. So what we would want to do here is any movie related code we would want to stick in here and the rest of our program can go in another file. So just so I have something, I'm just going to make a, you know, real quick function I just like print out two different movies. So print avatar console.log and I'll print out like the name and the uh, rating. All right, so avatar PG 13. I think it's PG 13. And uh, let's make one more. So function, uh, I'll print Chappie. By the way, I think I saw this. I think I said this. I saw Chappie the other night and. Uh, pretty good movie highly recommend it. so chappy and I believe this is rated R I think so I remember they said the F word a couple times so whatever alright so here's the thing we have a couple different files and they each have a little bit of code related to you know whatever the file is and we want to pretty much take this code and use it in our main file or include it in a different file so how do we do that well but the terminology, the correct terminology, is what we're doing is we're going to export some code from movies and import it into app.js. So that's what we're trying to do, take this code and include it right here. Now here's the thing. Whenever we do this, all this code just doesn't get exported by default. We can actually say what code do we want to export now the code that gets exported is determined by a variable called module dot exports now once you type this keyword what you can do is you can tack on a variable and this can just be any custom variable you want so I'm gonna say that I'm gonna export this avatar function and I'm not gonna export this chappy one maybe I want this chappy one to be private maybe I'm still working on it anyways it's not ready to use in another file so anyways, I'm going to make a variable called avatar and you just set this equal to whatever you want to export. So print avatar and you don't have the parentheses. So there you go. So now whenever something tries to import movies.js, it says, OK, whenever I'm trying to import this, you obviously only want to in or excuse me, export this function right here. So that's that. And let's see how to import it. So whenever you're importing another module, what you do is you set it equal to a variable. So I'm going to set this equal to movies. And after that, you use the require keyword, which is pretty much saying we are requiring a module. We are requiring a file to include in this one. So the parameter that this takes is this period forward slash movies. Now, what this syntax it may look a little confusing so I'll break it down this dot forward slash this is just a syntax that says look in the same directory that I am at 
for a file called movies. So we obviously need, obviously know app.js is in this directory public. So it's going to scan this directory and it's going to look for a file called movies.js. If you're like, uh, Bucky, you forgot to type the JS extension, might fix that for you. Actually, whenever you're importing modules, never include the .js extension. And this is to do with a couple different things. First of all, this is kind of background information and you really don't need to know it, but some of your systems get confused by the file extensions because like a browser can't have access to your file system, so it doesn't really um, do a good job of looking at the extensions. And also another thing I want to point out while I'm talking about this, you guys may be like, all right, so what's the point of this dot forward slash, can I just write movies? Well, later on, I'm going to show you guys how to import something called core modules, which is essentially modules that are already built into the language for you. And whenever you import core modules, that's when you use just the plain keyword instead of the path. So again, just remember right now, whenever you want to import a module, what you're going to do is you're going to use the require keyword and then the path in the dot forward slash means look in the same directory and do not include the dot JS extension. So again, what this line of code does is it says, okay, I'm going to require code from this file. So it's going to hop over to this file, go do, 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 do. All right. What are you trying to export this right here? I'm going to grab everything right here and pretty much plop it in this variable. So now with this movies variable, Remember, this is essentially equal to the other module. Remember, we made a variable called avatar, which was a function, and we can run it just like expected. So again, whenever you run app.js, since it imported everything we told it to export from movies.js, it works fine. And obviously, here's the thing. Let me adjust my seat a little bit. So since we only chose to export avatar, and not print Chappie. If we ever try to do something like movies dot print Chappie, that's not going to work. So this is essentially the same as having public and private methods. So maybe this, I don't know, maybe you only wanted to access this function from inside this module. So that is how you can accomplish that. So that is the bare basics of modules, but there's actually a lot more to cover. So uh, now that we understand the basics, we can hop into the little more detailed stuff. And I'll show you guys some other cool ways and maybe easier ways to export and import modules. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, yada, yada, tomato, tomato. See you next time.